Okay, so let me show you something really interesting. I took this drone shot without a drone. All right, so welcome to a very special AI video. Wow, that was cool. So ever since last year, the most hip word on the street is AI, artificial intelligence. Even we made several videos on AI and you guys loved those. Thank you. Thank you so much. So in this video, I'll tell you about seven new AI tools which will make your work easier and your life better at the same time. Just what tech was invented to do. But best of all, all these AI tools are free to use. Like you can change clothes in your photos, make websites with no coding experience, take insane quality videos with just a phone. So stick around till the end of the video. Let's get creative. Now, before you begin, there is just one thing that I should mention upfront. All the tools and websites that I mentioned are definitely free. However, you will have to sign up using an email ID, but don't worry, you don't need any credit card or any other details. Okay, so first up is Adobe's Generative Fill and you get this on the newer Photoshop version. So see here, I have this picture of me. I select my shirt, give the prompt, change t-shirt to kurta. The result is pretty good. Now the big catch with this is, you will have to pay the monthly subscription of Adobe. But, but, up until now. Because Adobe themselves have a free alternative to this. So you just go to Adobe Firefly, Generative Fill, import the same image. Now select the area using the brush tool, type in the prompt. So I'll just type, make it look like I'm wearing a kurta. And wow, this is also pretty good. Like see, even on the generated image, there is that gradual blur which was there in the original photo. So yeah, you can get creative with this. Now the only thing with Adobe Firefly is using the free version, you do not get all the tools from Photoshop. So no option for layers, quick selection or any of that. But hey, it's free and it can get the job done. So no complaints here. And by the way, the thumbs of this video is made using AI. And we at TechWise are firmly believe that AI won't replace humans. But humans using AI will definitely replace humans. See, these AI apps helps you and makes you more productive. And talking about productivity, here's a word from our sponsor, Magical AI Writer. Now it is a free Chrome extension and it helps you do two great things. Let me show you. Number one, see, if I have a Twitter tab open here about TechWiser and I think I should write an email to TechWiser. So I just go to Gmail and type colon, type semicolon intro. See, it picks up TechWiser as the name smartly because I have a Twitter tab open of TechWiser. Similarly, you can create small templates of often used words that you type, like this outro that I do every time, so I don't need to type it again. Number two, I don't think anyone should be typing mails manually at this point of time. So all you have to do is hit backslash twice. Magical AI will bring a pop-up. You just say, write an email asking for two days leave for vacation to Manali. Boom, there you go, done. And not just that, in any email thread, if you go down, you have AI generated replies and you can also write custom emails. And the best thing is Magical AI works on all websites like Google Docs, Sheets, Gmail, etc, etc. And you can download Magical AI from the first link in the description. Up next, we have a free website that can unblur your old blurry photos. Very similar to what you get on Pixel phones, but better and available for all. Here, let me show you. So I have this pretty old picture of mine. It is not very sharp. Go to this website, upload the picture, set the scale. I'll keep it to default and boom. This looks so nice. I mean, see, even if I zoom in, there are details. Oh wait, let's take this to next level. So I like this blur filter on my normal photo and now I'll upload this and let's see the results. Nice. I mean, it looks as the AI has removed the blur filter. So if you have old photos of important occasions, those memories cannot be created again. So you can use this website to restore those old precious moments. Up next, we have Framer.ai. So see here, I created this website of mine with just a text prompt. So you go to Framer.ai, type in the kind of website that you want. So let's see, I'll just give tech content creator on YouTube with how much? Five years of experience. Now it will take some time. Nice. See, ta-da. It has created a rough website, so you can change the color tone. Let's go with this one. But the best thing here is it gives you all the three common layouts. Here you have the desktop or PC mode. Then you have this tablet layout. And then you also have this mobile version. Plus see this, you can change every element here. It is fully customizable. Once you are done designing your web page, you just hit the publish button and it will give you even a free domain. So let me just open this link on my mobile and see, I have a new website. Now you'll be like, Pratik, won't this take away all web designers job? Well, 
no and i'll get to this answer in just a moment also there are other no code websites like wix and squarespace you know the names but even without coding those can get complicated like you have to choose a template write the words yourself etc etc so if you're a student or just starting your career as a freelancer you can try framer.ai now before i go to the next one i want you to listen to this tune that i made Classes are paying off, huh? <laughs> no, no, I'm not that talented. So I used this website, Music Gen, which is created by Facebook, and I created the music with only a text prompt. So you just go to this website and just simply type in the desired prompt. Like I'll go with Indian beats for my rap song, and there you have it. Oh ho! This sounds like a good beat. It has a touch of Indianness in the beat. Hmm. Now I'm not a rapper but it does sound nice. Let me know in the comment section how good this rap beat is. The only catch here is you can only generate 15 seconds of music but if you're into music production you can play around with this little bit like import this into other music software. FL Studio and all of that and you can generate your original music. This entire AI website is by Facebook and it's a good one. Okay so this next one takes the whole idea of photography and drone shot to a next level. So see here I created this awesome drone shot just using AI. No drone, nothing. Here's how I did it. So see this is a two person's job and we'll need our full time gamer Super Saiyan over here. Aye aye. Hello. He'll use his iPhone 14 Pro and he'll move around in circles and create a 3D map of me. And after the scan is complete, you just upload the file. You'll have to wait for 15-20 minutes, and it's done now. And have a look at this. So by default, the app has created this cinematic render. This is good, but I want to further customize it. So there are two ways to do this. A, you can hit this AR button here and just move the phone. The app will detect your movements, add in auto keyframes, and give you a custom shot like this one. Or there's a better way to do this. You can actually manually add in keyframes. This can be a little bit technical and tricky to do, but the end result is so stable. Totally worth it. Now this Luma AI works best with iPhones because it uses the lidar sensor and the AI to build the entire scene. However, you can also do it in Android. You can use the Luma Labs AI website and upload the entire footage. Either way, this creates a really, really good drone shot. And finally, we have image colorizer. So if you have an old black and white photo like this landscape picture I have over here, you can convert it into a colored version. So just go to this website, image colorizer, go to colorize, upload the image. and wait for a while have a cup of coffee if you want and you can see the preview of the image this is before and this is after before after and i would say it has done a pretty decent job so see here i'll use the same image that we used for the ai blur and i'll just purposely convert the photo to black and white now see if i import this black and white photo into image colorizer it takes some time and preview and see in first glance it looks good Like it has got all the grasses and trees right they are all green but if you look at my skin tone it's purplish somewhere it's bluish the t-shirt color is all wrong so it's average but it's not 100% accurate which brings me to the all time burning question with ai will it replace humans humans so see ai cannot do the thinking part yet yet which we humans can and like i said in the beginning ai will not replace humans Humans using AI will replace humans. On that note, this is Pradeep signing off. See you in the next video. Pew pew. Pew.